Okay. So, I was in Australia, right? What a place. I don't... Any Australians here? <laughs> See? They sound like nice people, don't they? <laughs> they're not. They're horrible, right? <laughs> Not, you don't know this, you see. You see, <laughs> you see them on the telly on Bondi Rescue just going, look, we just rescued that guy. Aren't we nice? Yes, we are nice. <laughs> We're always nice. Look at this, it's nice here. Do you want a smoothie? That'll be nice. We're nice. <laughs> They're not. They say terrible things, right? And the reason why they can say terrible things is that they live miles away. <laughs> and you can't get to them on time. They'll say something terrible. It'll take you four days to get there, right? <laughs> then by the time you get there, you forget why you went there, right? <laughs> so while I was there, right, I was, oh yeah, so I, I left the place, right? I was leaving, because my friend Tom, he's from Perth, right? And he said, where are you going? I says, well, I'm going back to Britain and Ireland. You know, I'll be there for the summer. And he went, well, that'd be nice. This time of day, yeah, that'd be nice. I went, uh, well, no, not really. We, uh, we're pretty shit, actually. Like he'd never left Australia. He went, what do you mean? Well, he goes, well, no, it's not going to be as hot as here, but it's still be nice. He went, no, it'll be kind of rainy, and then sunny, and then rainy again, and then sunny, then cold, then really hot, then freezing, then shit, <laughs> then cloudy, rainy, with a bit of snow. Don't know, right? <laughs> I said, Britain and Ireland, you know, they're quite cold. They're quite drafty places, right? And I couldn't believe this. He looked at me and he went, what's a draft? <laughs> what's a draft? And I went, I said, what do you mean you don't know what a draft is? He goes, well, what is it? I went, well, it's, uh, it's in your house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's where it exists. It's from, it goes into the bottom of the house and <laughs> goes upstairs and uh, it's a draft. Surely you know what a draft is. <laughs> he goes, there's a breeze in your house. <laughs> Is the front door open? <laughs> no, no, that's closed. And there's a draft excluder along the bottom here in the shape of a snake to stop any type of wind getting in. And your dad has gotten some tissue and stuffed it in the bottom lock, right? <laughs> stop any more, Breeze. <laughs> I said to him, when I was a kid in the 80s, I used to sleep in the box room. He went, now what the fuck is the box room? I said, that's where children were sent in the 80s to freeze to death, right? <laughs> Anyone remembers that? Two outer walls in the house, you just shivering your arse off, right? <laughs> Unbelievable cold, right? That room was so cold, I swear, it's true as I'm standing here, my mum used to set her trifle in that room, right? <laughs> I'd be asleep, okay? Next minute, the door would just sneak open, my mum would just come in with her trifle. That's grand now, I'll just pop that there, that'll set lovely. <laughs> I'll ignore the freezing child there. <laughs> like, in Britain and Ireland, as I said, we're the only people in the world that will go asleep to this noise. We don't mind. We will go asleep in our freezing cold rooms beside a window and we will go asleep to this. We're the only people in the world to do this. We'll lie down and go asleep to... <laughs> Yeah, right. I was, oh, yeah, so I, I left the place. Right? I was leaving because my friend Tom, he's from Perth, right? And he said, Where are you going? I says, Well, I'm going back to Britain and Ireland. You know, I'll be there for the summer. And he went, Well, that'd be nice. This time of day, yeah, that'd be nice. I went, uh, Well, no, not really. We, uh, we're pretty shit, actually. <laughs>